Hey guys, I want to show you something that I stumbled upon yesterday um, that enabled me to be able to have really high resolution desktop mirroring of DCS um, while I'm streaming uh, in VR. So I was trying to make a 4K screenshot. I found out about this thing that NVIDIA has that allows you to super sample your screen and it downscales it to your actual resolution so I could effectively run 4K uh, even though I only have a 1080p monitor. Now, my goal was to just take a screenshot, but I ended up setting everything up and then realizing I started DCS in VR mode. Um, I don't know what cards this is supported on. I don't know what generation it starts at. I don't know that your settings are going to be the same as mine, but you can try it, fiddle around, see what works, and let me know. Um, and maybe you can provide feedback to other people with various cards if you figure something else out, but this is what I did. So first I went to the NVIDIA control panel. Um, you want to go to adjust desktop size and position. Uh, I need to do this on all three of my monitors. You don't have to, you can just do it on the one running DCS, but it makes it easier if you do it on everything. First we want to enable desktop resizing and instead of clicking apply, click the resize button. It's going to tell you, you have changes. Do you want them to be applied? Go ahead and say yes. Let that occur, and you should get this. Now, effectively, this is telling the computer I want to resize my window to the bounds that you see here in the corners. So we want the whole thing. So no matter what resolution, it's going to fit it to this screen. So we just click OK. And I don't know if this is going to record right, but my screen's flickering. I'm doing all sorts of stuff. It's going to ask me if this is OK. So what you're going to want to do is come to this change resolution section. You're going to want to add a custom resolution. You're going to want to add a custom resolution for whatever 4K is on your aspect ratio for your monitor. So mine is a 16 by 9 monitor. That is 3840 by 2160. That's probably going to be most of you. Um, I also don't know what you do if you already have a 4K monitor. I don't know if this is possible. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. I'm not sure. This is my scenario. So you're going to hit customize. You're going to go ahead and add a new, uh, I click this enable resolutions, not exposed by display. Click create custom resolution. I'm going to show you the one that I made. So here's the one I made. The only thing I changed was this number and this number. Everything else stayed to whatever the default is. You'll hit test. It's going to test it. You're going to say, yes, this is working. Click, uh, it should come back to here. You click OK. And, and then you select it. So we'll do that now. I'm going to go ahead and click Yes here because everything looks like it's working. And you can tell nothing really changed. Oh, OBS screwed up. Hold on, let's fix that so you can see. So there we go. Now we're at 3840 by 2160 on a 1080p monitor, which is great. You can tell that size-wise, nothing really changed. Everything looks pretty much the same, which is great. That's what we want. So let's go ahead and start DCS now. And what you'll see is that it fills my screen even though I'm running a 4K resolution. You can see that the logo is much smaller than it should be. And there you have it. DCS output running 4K. I don't think this does anything to the quality within the HMD itself. Um, you guys can run your own tests and see. For me, it seemed the same, maybe better, maybe placebo. I don't know. Uh, you guys can 
figure that out for, for yourselves and see what you think. So hopefully this helps you. Um, I don't know what the performance impact is going to be. I have a 1080 Ti, so performance is not really an issue as far as pushing graphics uh, to a higher resolution, obviously. Um, but guys, let me know what you think, and uh, let me know if you have any questions. I think it's pretty straightforward. Um, I've had a couple people try it with mixed success, uh, but I'd like to figure this out because I think ultimately it's better for VR streaming, VR recording, if you don't have to replay the track back. Um, maybe the only other thing I can say is, let me get OBS on here real quick. Oh, that's going to be fun. Okay, so the only thing I can say is that when you do VR, um, you're going to end up zooming this section in. So you're going to cut off the top and the bottom here. Um, and you'll end up with something. Just make this smaller. So what I do is I snap one corner, I grab the other corner, and I snap it right up to the top here. So there, they're snapped, snapped to the top. Right click, do transform, center to screen, and there you go. Now it looks like desktop resolution. So yeah, good luck, guys. Hopefully this helps you guys, and uh, we'll see you next time.